While the rover is cruising across the red planet, I pick some cars for the roads, or kind of roads, on Earth, where driving is so much more complicated. Hi everyone, here are six amazing off-roaders. Hunta. Hunta, a Belarusian snow and swamp going machine, is good for any surface, virgin snow, sand, Siberian swamp, and water obstacles. Driving on water is possible due to the rotation of the wheels. Installing a propeller driven by the engine could be another add-on. The propeller increases the overwater speed up to 5 miles per hour and the maximum overland speed up to 43 miles per hour, with the vehicle weighing 3.3 tons. The direction of movement is changed using the front wheels. The body of the all-terrain vehicle is made of fiberglass connected to a metal casing. The engine is manufactured in two versions, gasoline and diesel. The machine is equipped with low-pressure tires. Depending on the terrain, the tire pressure can be adjusted on the go. All the required system information is displayed on the cabin LCD. Trakel. One of the leaders in the field of all-terrain vehicle manufacturing in Russia is the Trakel Company, which develops and manufactures ATV amphibians on ultra-low-pressure tires of its own design. Trakel represents a flagship class of floating all-terrain vehicles with a three-axle design. The ATV significantly differs from similar vehicles with its lightweight insulated body made of fiberglass. It should be noted that this material has got ultra-low thermal conductivity, which expands the operation of such ATVs at extreme temperature from negative 49 degrees Fahrenheit to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. The spacious interior of the model fits two classic seats for the driver and the passenger in the front, while an additional six people can be accommodated on two couches along the sides. For goods transportation purposes, the side couch can be ergonomically disassembled in order to make a wide platform. This all-terrain vehicle is equipped with the all-wheel 6x6 drive formula with a two-speed transfer gearbox and an interaxle positive locking differential, which allows overcoming off-road conditions. Sherp. The Sherp company from St. Petersburg, led by Alexei Garagashian, developed one of the best or probably the best all-terrain vehicles in the world. The ATV, whereof manufacturing started in 2015, has got patented tubeless ultra-low pressure tires and a special tire inflation system, as well as a swing mechanism with clutches and an independent enhanced reliability disc brake. Features of the fuel system enable a prolonged operation of the all-terrain vehicle without fuel-related interruptions at critical angles of inclination. The main peculiarity of Sherpa is the Numa circulation suspension, which is Garagashian's personal invention. All tires are connected by air channels with variable cross-section that can be adjusted up to a tight closing. Once an obstacle is hit by one tire, the pressure equally distributes across all the wheels, deforming them more strongly. Sherp is great at swimming too, and no swamps are obstacles to it. The off-roader is equipped with a 1.5-liter diesel engine by the Japanese company Kubota, producing 44 horsepower and a 5-speed manual gear. The maximum overground speed is 28 miles per hour, while the overwater speed is 4 miles per hour. The declared fuel consumption is from 2 to 3 liters per hour. Gibbs Humdinga Humdinga is a kind of hybrid of a small truck and a passenger car for the entire family. Also, if you look closely at the design of the amphibian, you can see some elements of the usual motorboat. It's the shape of the vehicle's bottom that gives amphibians an opportunity to move on water. A carbon hull assembled on the steel frame has got smooth contours on the lower part and is hermetically sealed. At the same time, the truck is extremely light, weighing only 2.75 tons. Under the hood, there is an American V-shaped 8-liter engine with a mechanical supercharger delivering 350 horsepower, enabling this all-terrain vehicle to reach 80 miles per hour on land and 30 miles per hour on water. The transition from the land cruising mode to the water one takes about 10 seconds. After immersing into water, the driver presses the button to start the hydraulics, which draws the wheels into special spacious niches. The elevated wheels remain sticking out of the side markers on the truck. This allows you to gently moor it to a pier. Shaman is another Russian all-terrain vehicle with the 8x8 formula ensuring an additional level of stability. 
Each of them has got a positive locking mechanism with a comfort shift. That's what makes this all-terrain vehicle special. Speaking of the chassis, it should be noted that the Shaman ATV is really unique. Besides, it's a totally enclosed boat that can be set up with various superstructures. This allows the vehicle to cruise along the water surface at an excellent speed. A certain number of high-degree productivity pumps prevent any liquid from getting into the all-terrain vehicle. Another feature of the machine is that all its wheels are rotating, making this all-terrain vehicle very maneuverable. With the length being more than 19 feet, the turning radius is commensurate with the characteristics of cars. It is achieved by the fact that the wheels rotate in different directions. That is, if two pairs of front wheels turn to the right, then the two pairs of rear wheels will turn to the left. All eight wheels can also turn in the same direction. Paramount Marauder is a real monster and a military car rolled in one. The car weighs 10 tons, it is also 21.3 feet long and 9.8 feet high. The SUV is ready to withstand impacts of improvised explosive devices, mines, as well as ballistic attacks and explosions caused by 15.4 pound dynamite placed under the vehicle or 30.9 pound dynamite under its wheels. Also, the ATV has got 3.5-inch thick glass and can easily overcome up to 40-inch high water obstacles without additional devices. In addition to the armor, the car's got armored seats that protect the driver and passenger from shrapnel, explosions, and rocket attacks, in case the outer armor does not withstand the assaults. Guys, thanks for watching. Please write in the comments what you liked most. Stay tuned, lots of exciting news is in store for you. See you soon in the next video.